Welcome to my channel, Handmade by Hannah, or welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back and watching. Uh, today it is very snowy again. Snowmageddon Part 5 is what our local news station is calling it uh, here in uh, the western United States. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> the groundhog wasn't wrong this year, was he? Anyway, um, today I bring you part two of my corset journey. So I'm still working on the mock-up. I finally got around to getting some of the stuff finished up and done. And so I will walk you through some of the stuff I have done since the last time I talked about this, up to and including a finished corset at the end. Well, maybe not finished, a finished mock-up. <laughs> so yes, there are strings loose and you know, hems that aren't finished and stuff like that, um, and bones that are poking out. But uh, for the most part, I'm very happy with how it, uh, for the first, very first one, how it turned out. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have uh, cut out all of the pieces and I have uh, basted them. Um, what I did is I actually basted the outline and made sure that I marked where the uh, notches were. So uh, up here we have the um, high bust, bust, no, this is the bust, under bust, and we got waist and hip down at the bottom here. And then I uh, pinned them carefully together. So as you see, I have them labeled, you know, piece number one on the outside. And I have a piece number one that goes on the inside, number two, and then three and four. And I also have carefully pinned them together, matching everything on both sides, and then five and six. And I did that for the other side as well. So next up, I'm going to be sewing each of these pieces together and then pinning them all together and having, um, then we'll move on to putting the busk in.
Okay, so I have gotten most of the corset done. Uh, remember, this is just a mock-up, so I did not finish any seams. I didn't cut any um, seam allowances down. I just put the, um, the bone casing on uh, just on top of that. Um, and then I used some uh, zip tie material uh, for the bones for this. And yes, they are kind of curly. You can kind of see them. They, uh, they don't want to lie flat. Uh, but I think as I wear it, as I work with it, um, they're getting better. And I also, I can steam them and lay them and put weight on them and flatten them out a little bit that way too. Um, there is a couple of them that I definitely, um, there's got some good curve to it on the right spot, like up here on the bust part. But, uh, other than that, all I have to do now is just uh, learn how to do the lacing and everything. And I'm going to try to do uh, the uh, what they call the bunny ear method, where you have the two um, the two big loops that um, come out of the middle here in the at the waist uh, the waist stay, and uh, so it's easy enough to pull and tighten from there. Uh, so I'm going to go do some research and then t uh, lace it up, and then we'll tr be able to try it on. Okay, I have my first mock-up of a corset, and I'm actually pretty pleased for my very first one. This is, I mean, as you see, I didn't lace it all the way down. Um, there are definitely some issues. I am going to be taking off this bottom part because it is too long in this area, and I really, the waist is, the, at, is, is at the right spot, um, so the waist tape is actually going right there, which is my natural waist. And that's where I had those, the grommets really close together in the back there, just to give that extra oomph. Um, so it is um, doing what it's supposed to as far as like snatching. <laughs> um, but I'll be definitely cutting at least two inches off of the bottom of this. Um, probably kind of coming, it'll come down to a V in the front and kind of come up and around this way. Um, leave a little room for the hips. Um, because these are actually obviously too big and this is just too too far down um, towards the back there because really ideally what I'm looking for is uh, waist shaping in here as well as a little bit of bust support now up here has kind of the opposite problem I actually need to take some in at the top here as you see it is actually mostly closed to the top which it should not be there should be at least a two inch gap from what I understand um, and I do have a modesty panel that goes with this pattern, which I am going to be trying to do. But uh, the everything went together really good. I felt like I didn't have any issues. And um, yeah, as far as fitting through the waist and the length goes, that actually worked out really good because I always have issues uh, basically between here and here. So uh, that is really good. And that means that I can actually use, so I actually ended up using, this is the longest busk that I got. This was a 17 inch, I believe. So if I take out the two inches, that means that I can use the 15 inch. And so, cause I tried sitting down and when I sat down, um, yeah, this pokes in an uncomfortable place. <laughs> so I have to do some adjustment if I'm gonna, if I wanted to use something this long. Um, so, cause it's just too long for my waist down to the bottom there. Um, but, um, overall i'm actually really happy so you know did the bunny ears and you see i got my bunny ears tied in the front here they are crossed over so they're not actually like pulling on the bones in the back there but uh but yeah didn't actually have that much trouble lacing myself up or anything like that um so overall i'm really happy so i think i'm gonna make the make some um some notes on here Actually, it's this one right here. Um, so I think these two pieces right on the side. So this is one, two, so three and four. I'm going to bring in at the top there on both sides. Um, I think maybe a little bit at the top on five and six as well, uh, just to give that extra, a little bit of extra room there. Um, not going to make any adjustments through here. This is actually really good. Um, and then, like I said, cut off about two to two and a half inches. Um, off of the bottom part here and kind of curve it up and over so uh, leaves a little more room for the hips to do their hip thing <laughs> so anyway um, this is the end of part two so I will be uh, finishing up the second one maybe doing a little video on that and then choosing um, what I'm going to do for the final uh, for final corset so anyway I hope you have a great rest of the day wherever you are what you're doing and uh, stay safe take care bye